guys, Sophie Soaps here with Angela's Brand and today I'm gonna show you how to turn a pair of fire red threes into undefeated threes. I just wanna say for the first half of this video, I'm gonna be using the Princeton brushes which are available on the Angela Stroke website. But for the second half of this custom, I'm gonna switch over to the brand new Angela's brushes which are super cool. They have the Angela's logo on them and there's a variety of shapes and sizes of them. So you can get some really, really dope precision. But enough talking and let's get into this custom. So, before we start anything on the shoe, the first thing we're going to want to do is mix all of our paint. So we're going to need about four different colors, and the first color is our green color, which is a mixture of olive green, avocado, yellow, play in the sand, and flat black. Color number two is our orange mix, and that is a mixture of tangerine and flat white. Colors number three and four require no mixing, and they are flat black and flat white. So the next thing I'm going to do is completely strip the midsole of its old paint so we can lay a new layer down. So what I'm doing here is just taping the uppers and I'm going to use a paint stripper which you can find anywhere online. I'm also going to use a scraper to get all of the excess paint off and I'm going to follow it with some acetone. Before we paint the back of the tongue orange, we're going to lay down some white in order to cover the red. So what I'm going to do is mix a 50-50 ratio of flat white and GAC 900 in a container and mix. Make sure you use a smaller brush for the Jumpman in order to get all of the details. So for the second half of this custom, I'm gonna be switching over to the new Angelus brushes, which if you guys haven't seen these, you should definitely go check them out. They're great quality and they're gonna give you a really nice non-streak finish. Moving on to the midsole, we're going to lay down our flat white first and then put flat black. So make sure you do really thin and even coats to avoid a clumpy looking finish. Now, I would never recommend painting a sole, but what we're gonna do for them is dye them and then paint them. So we're gonna take our jet black leather dye and we're gonna apply it to the sole using either a brush or the applicator it comes with. I just wanna note that with this method, you are definitely gonna need some sort of sole protector and the paint will eventually come off the rubber over time. <laughs> 